A truck driver will head to jail next week to begin a 180 day sentence for a horrific distracted driving crash that killed a Minnesota couple and their three children. Now you're probably thinking that's a short sentence and it is, but there's a reason behind it. Carol Evans Canterdall has a story of faith and forgiveness. Uh, my name is Cedric Pals. I am the father of Jameson Pals. Nearly two years after the crash that killed his son, daughter-in-law, and three grandkids, Rick Pals and his morning, wife still struggle. I struggle to find the words that describe the grief that gripped me. The Minnesota family's journey to missionary training in Colorado was cut short in Nebraska when a semi-truck slammed into them from behind, igniting a fire. There were no survivors. Rick still struggles to read the victim impact statement he wrote to the man responsible, semi-driver Tony Weekly, but he didn't struggle with his message. I know how much God has forgiven me. How can I not forgive you? Rick delivered that message in court on Friday, asking the judge for leniency, and he wasn't alone. We asked the court, will give the maximum allowable grace. Gordy and Nancy Ingle, Catherine Powell's parents, also wrote a letter asking for mercy. You know, we've had people say, well, you have to be super Christians. They didn't know it, it's not about us being, we're, we're just plain people, but we have a super God that, that just lifted us up through that. And that is how we can walk this path, it's because we have hope. Everybody makes mistakes, and he didn't start out that day planning on killing her children. And so instead of five to nine years in prison, the judge gave weekly two years probation and 180 days in jail. And after, the pals gave him a hug. I was kind of worried. I thought, well, maybe when I see him, I won't be so forgiving. <laughs> but, you know, it was just the opposite. It instilled in me more of a desire to be at peace with him. I'll leave you with those three words. Forgiveness, mercy, hope. That photo between the pals and Tony Weekly and his wife you just saw there certainly says a lot. And during that time after the sentencing, they say he also told them how sorry he was for the crash and said he prays for all the families impacted every day. Now, it's worth noting that the pals' words meant a lot to the judge. The prosecutor and first responders all advocated for a longer sentence. Randy. What an amazing story. All right. Thank you, Kent.